Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Sorry it's been a bit of a while. Um, I have a few reasons for that and mostly the, big, the biggest reason is that I moved house. I haven't moved to Canada yet, but I have moved house and I'm living with some friends down in uh, the Midlands and um, I'll do an update vlog a little bit later, but uh, it's been difficult finding sort of like the motivation to do videos lately um, mostly because I've had to focus on so much other work and um, in my spare time I was finishing a game called Persona 5 and that's what this fan art is and Persona is a game series about um, like a group of kids typically kids that end up being gifted like magical powers um, aka Personas and they um, actually like fight and battle and progress through the story with these um, persona characters and the main character can wield like more than one and then it also like has like a social sort of dating sim simulation <laughs> aspect to it and a time-based aspect to it and it's a really clever game um, and these four characters are from the newest game which is persona 5 and I finished Persona 5. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And I think it easily ranks in my top 10 video games of all time, potentially my top five. Um, I just had so much fun with it. I adore the characters, the style of it. I have, I have um, a, a big space in my heart for stylized games and this just ticks all my boxes to be honest and I, I absolutely adored every last part of this game it was so incredible and I fell in love with the characters specifically the female characters and the pro tag um, and I just had to draw them I am planning a drawing of the uh, four boys from the team um, I say four uh, <laughs> I probably won't include one of them just because of how the, the fandom kind of sees him but no. <laughs> um, yeah so what I did with this was I actually was running very low on brush pen ink um, I had like no ink left in my brush pens I've actually been super duper strapped for cash these past couple of months and um, mostly because I, I had to move out and I had to kind of prepare for a con and just lots of little bits like that. Um, Manchester Comic Con didn't actually go as well as I needed it to. Um, I did, I, I made a record making amount, but it, it because of the high cost of the area that I was in, um, I didn't have enough money left over. So um, that was one of the reasons I wasn't able to go to Canada because the immigration are um, quite... Um, I know that they can turn you away if you don't have enough cash so um, I was really worried about that and so I delayed my flight and I decided to move away and move in with some friends so yeah but so I was a bit strapped for cash and I wanted to use what I already have I've spent a lot of money on digital art equipment and even though I can't really utilize my Cintiq like in the most comfortable manner like that I'm used to at the moment um, I decided to ink this digitally and inking digitally is not a strong suit of mine it is something that I've always severely disliked <laughs> but I need to get used to it and I have a couple of tablet reviews coming up that I am going to be working on and um, I'm really excited for those and hopefully I'm going to tackle my arch nemesis that is digital inking. And I thought, I have no brush pen ink, and that that is fine. Um, I'm going to use my printer because it has pigment ink, and I'm going to use my Cintiq. And so that's exactly what I did. I digitally inked it and then um, printed it using my Canon Pixma Pro 10. Now, I can't guarantee that this will work with all printers because 
the printer that I own, uh, like I said, it has pigment based ink, which is waterproof. Um, a lot of standard printers tend to come with dye based ink, which is not waterproof, but you're welcome to check. Um, also laser printers should be good for this because it's toner, it's not ink. So yeah, if you want to give anything a go, um, always check that your ink is waterproof or you could just use something like Copics. Um, I think Copic works well with most printers. Um, and I actually have this uh, line art for free on my Patreon and you can go check out my Patreon if you'd like to stay and pledge and help me out with my new life. Um, as I'm preparing for Canada, then uh, my Patreon is in the description and it's mostly centric on transfer and uh, the the concept and development of my comic. So yeah, but I've released this as a free line art. Um, and the only conditions are that you don't remove my watermark, obviously, but it's free to color. And I'd like to see it if anyone else colored it. And you don't even have to do the, the same colors as the characters if you just want to practice using it. If you don't know the game, that's fine. Just, you know, free line art. <laughs> so um, the four girls are called Haru, Futaba, An, and uh makoto and they are great i i <laughs> it's hard to pick a favorite but i think my favorite is futaba i think futaba is probably one of my favorite characters of all time and then it comes close with haru and i actually romance makoto in the game <laughs> um but they're all so lovely and you expect them to be completely different to what they en end up being um for example, like Anne is introduced as like this sort of, I don't know, you expect her to be like a bit of an airhead, a bit of a bitchy character, but she's not. Uh, she's actually lovely and she just really supports her friends and you learn that very quickly. Um, Makoto is introduced in a way that makes her seem like also a bit of a bitch and you just kind of don't want to be around her and she's really annoying and then she just evolves into this amazing character and I won't spoil anything about Haru and Futaba but yeah they're just they're wonderful characters I love the way that they were all fleshed out in the game um, an upside to working digitally first is that I can do cool things with the text and so I did the sort of the aesthetic the visuals of the game onto the line art and I wouldn't have been able to do that as cleanly and crisply with just watercolor it would have been a pain in the backside so I'm really glad that I got to experiment with this um, I printed it onto my favorite 12 by 16 inch um, fluid uh, cold press paper which is my favorite and you all know it <laughs> but I guess we're getting to the end of the video now um, like I said just go check out the description for a link to the free line art um, and I think that's roughly everything um, oh wait uh, yeah at the beginning I did show you a sort of screenshot of me working on a scrap of paper and I actually did this as just a quick thumbnail in a notebook and from there it went through about five passes of sketching which I actually forgot to hit record on <laughs> So that's why there's a bit of a jump. I forgot to press record. Oops. And um, yeah, so I sketched this for so, so long, making sure it was as, you know, clean as it could be. Like I said, my strength isn't digital line art, clean digital art. I used to do painting instead. My strength lies in painting rather than drawing, like with a tablet. But yeah, so anyway i hope you guys enjoy if you do paint my line up please let me know share it i'd love to see it especially if you do a video i'd really like to watch that and um i guess i will see you in my next video i've got a few coming out and we're back on track guys and thanks for sticking with me this far um i'll do an update vlog hopefully this week bye